Hi, welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. Today we're doing Exile, uh, the great song by uh, Bon Iver and Taylor Swift. Um, it's a simple song if we use a capo on our sixth fret, which is going to give our chords nice, easy, open shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a C chord with a G bass, so a C slash G, which basically means doing our C shaped chord but moving our third finger over to the third fret E string, putting our pinky on the A string third fret where the other finger was. That's our first one. Then we're going to an A minor shape. And I say A minor and I say C slash G because these are the chords that this piano riff is based around. We don't use all the notes out of the chords, but if you, if you put your fingers on those chords, you won't go wrong. So the intro and the piano part goes like this. We take the two bottom strings, the, the the E and the A string on the third fret. And we play those together. And you can strum them with your thumb. You can strum them with a, with a pick. You can play this with a pick, but it's gonna sound nicer, I think, with fingers. At any rate, pick or strum these bottom two strings together. Then you play third fret A string, open G string, second fret D string, and then open D string, hammer on to second fret, so like this. And try and leave those bass notes ringing on throughout the whole riff. Then we lift those two fingers off and play. You can include this E string in your A minor chord as well to give you that nice big thick ethereal kind of bass sound. If you want to just do the single note bass notes, you can do that, single string bass notes, you can do but it sounds much much nicer and fatter with that bottom E string included. So from the C we go down to the A minor, play those two open strings, E and A, then play open A string, open D string, third fret A string, open A, hammered back on to third fret. Now that's your last note, and then you want to go back to those pair of threes. So when you hammer on to the third fret on your A string, on that A minor chord, if you can do it with your pinky, that leaves you in a good position to kind of continue that flow as smoothly as possible. So like this. And you don't have to move your fingers. So the most important part about that is to actually just keep those bass notes ringing out through the riff. It's not a hard riff, it's just you need to be careful to keep it nice and clean and, and ringing throughout. That riff goes pretty much throughout the whole intro and verses. So we're going to go through the verses really quickly. It follows that, that picking pattern, that riff. You're going from C or C slash G. I can see you standing, honey. A minor, C, right? Do it again. The chorus moves into F, and you can play an F like we did with the other chord, with the C chord, by putting a C bass onto it, or you can just do a normal F, depending on what you are comfortable with. I think I've G seen this film before A minor And I didn't like the ending now Back again F, G A minor Back to G So it goes through those four chords twice Next time around You were my town Now I'm in exile seeing you around When they say exile, that's, that's your cue to go up to C instead of back down to G and then the fourth time through you go, I think I've seen this film before. Stay on the A for that last bar. That's the end of Bon Iver's verse. When it goes to Taylor Swift's verse, it goes through that exact same chord progression. But at the end, instead of just hanging on that A minor for the last bar, you'll see there's a first and second endings there. The first time through, we play the A minor underneath the, the one alternate ending then we hit the repeat sign, go back, 
The second ending is the end of Taylor Swift's verse, which is an A minor, two, three, four. We play the, the G on the fourth beat of that bar. Okay? Then it goes into um, a, a really nice change. C, so step right out to A minor. There is no amount of G of crying I can do for you to F. Goes through that again. G and F. And again, I'm playing the F slash C, but you can just do a normal F. Repeat that whole line. So you go C, A minor, G, F, C, A minor, G, F. Repeat them again. C, A minor, G, F, C, A minor, G, F. Then, I think I've seen this film before. And I didn't like the ending. And so, as we go through that chorus section, you can you can be strumming those chords a little bit stronger now as the, as we're going through to the you know the ending section of the song, and we're going into another section like that. So step right out, there is no more. And it goes through the bridge section again, repeating that line. So a total of sixteen bars, and then right at the end, it's C A minor. G and F to end. And if you're one of those people that like to end and resolve neatly on the C, you go back to the C, but otherwise leave it hanging on the F and it sounds good. That's it. It's a great song. Uh, play it gently. Play it slowly. Try not to speed up and, and you know, rush it too much, which is always a, a, always a temptation. But it's a really, really nice song. Try and let those bass notes ring out and take your time with it. Enjoy it. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again here soon for another lesson and good luck with it. Please let me know how you go with any comments below and uh, any, any kind of feedback I'm always happy to hear. Thanks a lot.